cleaned up his bird wall. That's game one. Yeah. Okay, um, um, Sandra, come. Come finish this. I'll finish. Hurry, 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 hurry. Stop this. So what are you thinking about? <sighs> oh, I know that smile. <laughs> Friend writes about him, man, right? Perhaps your boyfriend, I guess. And perhaps you're right. <laughs> mm. Um, Tessie. Yeah? The truth is, I think that my guy is a weakling. A weakling? Why do you say so? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Don't worry about it. Lana. It's fine. It's not your case. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, study. It's fine. Alison, Alison. Uh, <laughs> Fine boy, Alison. Tessie of Africa. Can I sit so, down? Sure. <laughs> Enjoy. What brings you to my office today? Ah, Alison, today I brought you good news. Business. Business? <laughs> I didn't know you're now in my line of business. Mm. Alison. Hmm. Alison. You see this hyper root solution here? Please think. This shakers. All you have to do is to add in more water. It is not expensive, just two of K only, and you are good to go. <laughs> What's that for? Ah, listen, this is for vitality. Vitality in the other bedroom. Once you start taking this thing, you stop being a two-minute man. <laughs> Hold on, but, but I never said I was a two-minute man, but... Alison, forget that team! Alison, forget! I know you're ashamed, I can see. <laughs> Alison, don't, don't be embarrassed. Hmm. We are we, we are understand. See, you see this hyper root solution? It has helped so many men overcome their bedroom challenges. Alison, my boyfriend used to be what soon? He was a one minute man. One second man. Before we even start, who can basa? <laughs> you're laughing, I said it. <laughs> I know! See, Alison, see, this is not a joking thing, you know. When you see my man, you ask him. Ask my man. He will tell you the truth now. I can't be lying. But right now, Sha, Alison, if you see my man now, I now call him the old dog. Because the thing down there, <laughs> this thing just, he sharpened it. Wait, wait. Like I call this thing the lion, the bulldozer. Bulldozer. Look, you, you really, you really make, you're making me laugh so hard. Calm down, calm down. Hear me out. Oh. Honestly, I don't know where you're coming from. Oh. First of all, I am not a two-minute man. I am far away from even being a two-minute man. I may not go two hours straight. I don't even know if anyone does that naturally, but the boy is good. Oh. The boy is very healthy and very good. So I don't know. <laughs> you're just cracking me up. So, why did Anna call you a weakling? What? What did you say Anna called me? She said you're a weakling. But Alison, please, uh, do not say anything to her, I'm begging you, eh? Please, don't say I told you. Just, just zip your mouth, please. Well, she called you a weakling, no? Although, she didn't, you know, explain what she meant by you being a weakling. So I just figured out that, since Anna said you're a weekly, so which means I just added one, one plus one, which is two. I said for that, it will be weak in the bed. So as a good friend, I said, ah, I cannot hear this kind of thing, no, and I will not bring you the solution to your problem. Because you're a fine boy. I'm the fine boy. You have to be strong. As you are physically strong, you have to be strong than there. <laughs> you understand? Wait, wait, what, what exactly did, what did you say she told you? Um, she said you're a weakling. And you are weak in the bed. And I'm weak in the bed. Yeah, two minutes, man. And sometimes you, you are even 1.5 minutes. She told you that. Wait, I don't think she said that anyways.
Okay, so hey everyone, <laughs> it's your girl again, Tessie, the Tata full of flavors. So guys, today I bring you guys good news. If you know you're a man on this platform and you're suffering from quick ejaculation, erectile dysfunction, cry no more. Because Tessie here is bringing you guys the magic, the cure. Hey, I would have shown you guys the thing, but well, you know now, <laughs> we're gonna take it step by step. Maybe on my next episode. But for today, guys, I want to bring you guys this product because it works like magic. Trust me. The name is called Haba Root Solution. This Haba Root Solution, guys, if you're a two minute man, trust me, this thing will take you from a two minute man to a two hours man. So if you know that you want to, you know, be strong, because you cannot be strong from the outside and then inside there, you feel like, you know, weekly, you go bad. <laughs> yes, guys, so guys, you, 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 you all have to buy this product. It is, guess what, very affordable and so effective. So, you know. <laughs> Uh, don't use it for your side chick, so uh -huh. only for your wife and your girlfriend. <laughs> you know, I'm just joking. You all can use it for your girlfriend, your wife, something maybe side chick. Guys, I do not own this product, okay? I'm just only trying to market it to my followers because I know it works so well. And the only good thing I will bring on give you know, that's not that it go. <laughs> so guys, do ensure to get this product now. And then thank you later because when you use it and it works, you gotta you know thank you and I got to you know Roja me and don't forget to share, like, subscribe on this video, comment everything you want to say to me. If you love my hair, drop the comment. You love my chain, drop the comment. You love my shoes, drop the comment, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye. If you can't help my siblings. That means you don't love me. Madam, stop gaslighting. It won't work. It can't work on me. I know you hate to hear the truth. Listen, do me a favor. Just stop bringing your, your sibling's business into my business. I have my own problem to take care of. That's the anthem of stingy me. Yes. Tina, did you just call me a stingy man? But you're acting like one. You must be very stupid. There you go again. You just said something stupid. And then who then is stupid? Hey, shut up. Shut up! What? You stop! You stop! Me. Shut up! No, no, no. I didn't to much. No! <laughs> Stupid woman. Oh no! <laughs> Not again! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sweetheart. Yes, baby. Don't we have some time together? Oh, come on. You don't want me going late to work, do you? No, I don't. We have a lot of time, okay? We'll spend more time mm -hmm. together. We're not there, work. Not you. Don't worry, when I come back. We'll have plenty of time together. It's okay. I rest my case. That's my baby. <laughs> Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Daddy. The water is not running. Okay. I'll move it. It's all right. Anything else? So, what is it? My friend Ogechi told me that her mom left at that because he beats her. Okay. And she also said any man that beats his wife is a bad person. But daddy always beats you. Why are you still with him? Mm. Come. 
swear at her. Don't mind Ogechi. Hmm? Your father is a good man. Your father is a man that has strength and vigor. And any man that is strong beats his wife. A weak man don't love his wife. Hmm? And because your father is physically fit, he beats me. And I love him. So, are you saying any man that doesn't beat you doesn't love you? Yes. So, you see, don't mind her. Okay? Okay. It's my girl. Well, my baby can cook. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, best cook in the world, <laughs> Hannah! Man, this is dope. Honestly, I, I think you're an amazing cook. You've said this like over a million times now. Babe, allow me, okay? I mean, you know I'm someone that enjoys well-cooked meals, especially when it's coming from the most beautiful girl in the world. Please. My Melanina. <laughs> Thank you. You're amazing, baby. All right, I'll see you later, okay? Yep. What? I'll say welcome when I'm done eating. <laughs> okay. So just run along. All right, thank you. Mm. and it slipped off my hands. You find? Yeah, yeah. Um, was, was the handles hot? No, 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 no. I think I didn't carry it properly and it just... Hey, come on. Don't worry. It's fine. I'll take care of this, yeah? Don't worry. Just go to the dining. Go to the living room. Uh, sorry about this, baby. Just go. Alright? You're, you're, you're not hot, right? I'm fine. Good. Very good. Just go. I'm coming. I'll sweep it off. <clears throat> ah, God. Room, room, room. And any man that is drunk beats his wife. A weak man don't love his wife. Ah, babe, what's up now? You're still mad at yourself. But I should have let it go. Actually, Alison, I am mad at you. You're mad at me? Why? Are you a weakling? Babe, where is that coming from? Look, I hate to be with a man who doesn't act like a man. What do you mean I don't act? Have you seen me acting like that? Still whisking? I want you to show up as a man. Like, prove to me that you're a man both in words and in action. Babe, what are you talking about? You're speaking in parables. Talk to me. Look, just be a man. A real man, Alison, that's all. Anna? Where are you going to? Home. Home? I thought we were good you would sleep over. I changed my mind. Hannah! Hannah! Babe! Tessie. 
I'm thinking about ending my relationship with Alison. Why? The relationship is just dreadfully boring. I mean, there is no excitement, no nothing. Then talk to him about it. Just so I can take you out sometimes. Maybe you know, just to spice this up a little bit. Tessie, it's not about taking me out. My point exactly is that, I mean, he just behaves like a weak man. How do you mean by that? Do you know that Alison has never yelled at me when I do something wrong? Let alone to even beat me up. Beat you? Beat you for what exactly? Is he not a man? I mean, I need him to like beat me up every once in a while, you know, just ruffle me up. Uh -uh. I mean, I need to feel like his strength and manliness. Everything is just so boring and, and, and dull and quiet. I mean, no, no quarreling, no fights, no makeup sex. I mean, yeah, he's macho and well-built, so I thought that he was going to be... A woman beat know. her, right? Well, if that's what you choose to call it. Hmm. Hmm. What is it again? Why are you staring at me like that? Because I'm trying to imagine so hard if you've started taking drugs. Because this is not normal. What is wrong with you? Tessie, are you seriously insulting me right now? You know what? I better leave. I am going to see you some other time, okay? Uh -uh. Things are really happening. No, I have to tell my friends and my family about this because this is this cannot this just cannot just waste. I have to share this hot juice with them. Sandra, come and hold this food for me. Yes, uh, just stay at this side. Stay here. Mm -hmm. It's okay there. Mom, mm -hmm. come like this this way. Mm -hmm. Stop. Straighten the camera. Mm -hmm. I'm okay, right? I look yes, it. Yes, you look it. it. Ah, let me press it. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, guys, quick one. I have to share this hot cheese with you. Something just happened right now. And I said to myself, I have to share with my family because you guys have to know. Oh, my guys, things are really happening now in this world. Hey, <laughs> God. Back to the cheese, guys. A friend of mine just left my store now, and guess what she said to me? She said that she finds it attractive when a man beats her. I mean, like, I'm like, I said, when a man carry belt, they flog and they use belt, they say, Koboku. Hey, hey, hey. hey, this one shocked me. Quick one. She went as far as even saying that uh, the guy is a weakling because he does not beat her. If anyone knows about this or have an idea about people like this in the comment section, I beg, make him tell me. Tell me, drop your, drop your comments in the comment. I'll be in the comment section. I'll be reading everything. Drop them. Yes. Ah, ah. Hey. Hey. Hmm. Let me have my phone. Wow. Ah, don't sit down. Wow. Ah, uh, this one just said, Tessie. Some women actually enjoy when their man beats them. It makes them happy because they find it sexy. Segini, it's Sandra, sexy. <laughs> hey, God, have mercy. Ah. Guys, ah. Uh... What exactly does she mean by I should prove that I am a man? Wait, does she mean I should get her pregnant? She asked if I was a weakling. I don't understand. Don't I act like a man? What's, what's all this? soul haunted by the acres of a violent home growing up with scars that no one else could see a damaged character trying to break free 
The memories of those nights etched into my mind. A constant battle, leaving my heart confined. But I hope the darkness won't define my fate. I pray to rise above, no longer drown in their hate. A damaged soul from a broken home, carrying the weight all on my own. A bruise is fate, but the memories linger. I'm just a lost child. Tessie. Hey babes, what's up? What is the meaning of that nonsense video you posted on your page? What video are you talking about? Why would you make such a content about what we discussed earlier today and the video is even trending? Oh babes, it's just for cruise, okay? There's nothing about it. Listen, do not use me for that kind of content. But I never mentioned your name. But you said that the person is your friend. Fact, Listen, of... please do not use me or any other discussion we have for your social media content ever again. Don't do that. I've heard you. She hung up on me. <laughs> she couldn't even say good night. <laughs> oh, my content's great, so I can do whatever I want to do. I'm going beg anything that content for me. I don't get that time. Gotta get used to this, man. Which was that? Come on, babe. I, I just wanted to have a tear to tear with you, nothing more. I, I I don't mean to disturb you or anything. Listen, um, Alison, I really don't want to see you now, okay? Come on, what are you talking about? Calm down. Is your mom? She's in the kitchen. Yeah. What? What stupid excuse do you have for still being at home at this time? I mean, I don't understand. What? Don't you understand? So that you called me on the phone and hung up the phone on me simply because I said I can't go to the gym today. You told me to register you in your gym for a work program. And I did without complaining. In one week, you've only got good words. Why? But I told you I'm weak today. Don't stupid excuses. I don't care. You allow our money to try and learn the nonsense. Get yourself into the room. Change and go with me for the TV now! If he's the money, I'll return the money. What? Look, I'll have to be very honest with you. I need a break, okay? Just give me a break. Babe, what's going on? What's going on? Yesterday you said I was not acting like a man. And today you're actually asking me for a break. Whatever it is, we can talk about it. Look, I don't want us to talk about anything, okay? Please, you know what? Just leave, please. Babe, just like that? Yes, you need to go. You have to. One, please, just, yeah. Alison, I'm serious. You need to go, please. You really need to. I'm not sure about this. You need, I'm... You need to. I'm sorry.
Hey, Hannah. What's up? Hey. Hannah. I know things have not really been good between us lately. But I want to tell you that I really love you and I don't want to lose you for any reason. Please, if you let me, I want to make amends. Oh, see, now. I got you this beautiful perfume. Galleria Expensa. <laughs> I don't know what your itinerary is, but um, if you don't mind, I'd like us to do a little shopping. Oh, I love shopping! Girl, why are you excited? I've not said I'm going. T Tessie, if you, if you want to come along, I mean, come on, why not? I didn't say I'm going, stop. You're not your choice. But, um, where did you pack your car? Yeah, it's down, over there. Down there, over there. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, go ahead and shop. Don't forget, if you think you for Tessie, 100k. For me? You want some? Exactly. Make sure you don't grab a Maybe shine on this. You're telling you that. Oh, wow. Right? Really? How dare you disrespect me like this? What is this? Anna. What happened? Can you imagine? He was busy staring at another lady right before me. That's my cousin Linda. You should know my cousin now. I was staring at Linda because her brother said she, she left for Abuja this morning and I'm, and I'm seeing her here. Why are you slapping me? What's that for? You better stop talking and act like a man for once. Anna, you know what? I'm out of here. Um, I'll drop the money with the cashier nonetheless. Alex, we can, we can talk about this. Hannah. Oh my God, that's what's his cousin for Christ's sake. Why I do you have to react like this? I know that that is his cousin. You knew? So what was the slap for? You know what? You won't understand, Tessie. Let's just round up with our shopping and get out, okay? Let's go. I won't expect you. No, come on. You are kidding me. It's no. a lie. I am not kidding you. She knows so well that the lady at the supermarket is your cousin. She only just slapped you because she wanted you to eat her. What's wrong with Hannah now? What's going on? What's the problem? Honestly, I have no single idea about that. Well. Uh, please. Uh... Do not tell Anna anything about this. I do not want to have any single issue with her. Let's just pretend like I didn't see anything, like you know nothing about Tessie, it. Tessie, come on. I already told you, no wahala. You don't have anything to be worried about. As a matter of fact, what I am worried about is the fact that the woman that I love is obviously having a mental or behavioral disorder. And that's the fact. Oh, God. Wait, let me ask you this. Don't be offended, yeah? Not at all. How long have you known her? I have known Anna for a couple of years. Why do you ask? That means you know her family so well, right? Of course, yes. Tessie, is there an apparent, you know, case of mental problems in our lineage or something or is there someone in our family that i'm just asking because these things are hereditary so i'll know if there's a way we can come in and help her do you understand right allison i have no single idea about that trust me and i so fine i just think we just have to be more patient with her you know please i i don't even know what to say please do not say a single word to Lana, please. Okay, I'm begging you. Mm -hmm. I got you. I told you you don't have anything to worry about. All right? Mm -hmm. Thank you for telling me. I really appreciate this, honestly. Thank You're welcome. You. Uh, I would love to take my leave now. All right, sure. 
I'll be right behind you. Thank you. God. Hey. So have you been? I thought you were angry with me. Yeah, my words, but not anymore. Hold on a second. Let me ask you, why didn't you hit me back when I slapped you the other day? Well, that's because it's not in my character to do that. I don't, I don't hit women. <laughs> so you're saying that a woman slaps you and all you could do was run away. I mean, that's you being a coward. Look, that's not cowardice. That's bravery. Yeah, I, I, I'd rather walk away than hit the woman back. That's how it's done. Well then, you're not my kind of man. Yeah, dating you was a mistake, a big one actually. You know, it's actually my fault. Yeah, because, you know, I should have even told you the kind of man I wanted to well, be with in the first place. But wait, let me get in. Hannah, what are you talking about? You're saying you want a man that hits you? Is that what you're saying? Look, I am saying that I want a man that acts like a real man. That's it. You know what? Look, have a good day. Babe. babe. Hannah, what has come over you? Hannah! What exactly were you doing inside Nessie's car? Is that what you brought me here to ask me? Shut up and answer the question. I saw him drop you off and he drove away. He just gave me a lift. Any problem? A lift? Two times in the space of five days? Oh, I never knew you were this good with calculation. Okay. Oh my goodness, stop it! And I said it again, what were you doing? A nurse's car. And I said, stop it! You don't hit a lady! And I want to have you do this in my shop. And don't no you problem. ever eat her again! No problem. I'll take my leave. And for you, they don't mess around with me again. I hope you're okay. guy is fire. Jeez. Gosh, why are so men so mean? This is so sickening. Huh? <laughs> oh God, have mercy. Oh my God, Mamana. What am I seeing on this video call? Look at your eye again. Does he want to blind you? What can I do? He apologized to me this morning before leaving for work. Just an apology, Mama Anna. I think you should leave this marriage, Joe. That's the truth. Ah. Leave my marriage? No, 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 no. Please, don't say that again. Please, I beg you in the name of God. But how long will you enjoy this wickedness from this man? This man is so wicked. Olivia, I am not complaining. I'm enjoying my marriage. Like, we always make up after every fight and quarrel. The sweetness of my husband comes after every fight. I just can't wait for my husband to come back home tonight. Do you know, there is nothing as sweet as make-up sex. Hello? Hi, Anna. How are you doing? Very well. Okay, um, quick one. I called into a show on radio and got a meal voucher. I 
I'm actually expected to go out with a partner. And that's why I called you. Okay, so when will that be? Tomorrow. Noon. Alright, cool. I'll be available. Cool, cool. Alright, have a good night. You too. Take care, bye. taking the calls? Ah, uh, he wasn't anyone important. Who was that person on the line? It was Alison. Alice? Your ex? Yes, my ex. Are you still seeing that guy? Come, what kind of stupid question is You don't talk to me like that. I want you to get out of my house right now. You need to go. Get out of here. You need to go. Stop. I'm sorry. You need to leave. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. I know. Please. Forgive me, please. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Please. I'm so stupid. I know that. Forgive me. Please. Anna. Yes. Anna. Um, I don't know if you remember me from last week at a beauty salon. You were having a little scuffle with a lady. Yeah, I remember that. She really got me mad on that day. Hmm. You. Such an action, man. Oh, really? By the way, my name is Hannah. Yeah, I'm Kizito. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, I don't know, if you don't mind, can we like exchange numbers? Maybe oh, we can... Definitely. That's okay. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah. All right. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it. I know. What's going on? What's going on? What kind of nonsense is this? What exactly have I gotten myself into? Well, I love this girl, but I'm not going to take this BS from her. I won't do that. Can you imagine? Telling me to my face that she has a crush on another man. I look like a joke to her. The girl I'm planning to propose to. She even had the effort to run after him to collect the guy's number. What? No, 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 no. Alison, no, come on. Come on. No. Even if he's jazz. No. I'm done making exceptions for this girl. No way, it's about time I... Come off the road now! What's your problem? That's not me, that's not me, that's not me. Calm down, guy, calm down. 
You're doing too much. I don't get it. Who's that guy? Well, I don't know the guy. Never seen him from Adam. Uh, you know what? I will just talk to her when I see her, okay? To what end? No, there's no point of talking to her. You don't get it. I didn't come to tell you because I want her back. We're done. I'm only telling you because I think your friend has a problem, a big problem, and she needs help ASAP. Hannah's thought pattern is twatted. There's something wrong. She needs to see a therapist. I don't know. So are you trying to say you're no longer in love with my friend? Sometimes. It's not just about love. There are other very important things, like peace of mind. At this point, my sanity and my peace of mind is very important to me. Look at you. You know, hey, I'm good. Um, what are you doing here? I should be asking you that. A beauty shop is largely for women. Okay, you got me there. Well, I came to see a friend, Tessie. Same person I came to see. I actually came to make my nails. Oh, let me see. <laughs> yeah, so do you see work in a bank? Um, no. I work for a tech company now. Ooh, Texas. Mm hmm. <laughs> so what's up with you? I'm good here, yeah. Oh. Come on, give me a hug. You look, you look good. good. I was going to say that. I smell good. I know. Mm -hmm. I always do. <laughs> so good to see you. It's okay. You go. <laughs> okay, what? Why are you staring at me like that? Where is your conscience? No, tell me, why are you so reckless and very insensitive? Oh my God, calm down, Tessie. What are you talking about? A guy took you out on a date. Oh. And you went out right before the guy said you were tripping for another guy. And not just that, you went ahead to collect the guy's number. No, why would you do that? That is so wrong. Look, Tessie, I don't understand why he's being offended by what I did. I have told him that I'm no longer interested in the relationship. Oh, really? Yeah. Look, I've moved on, okay? And he's clearly not my type of man. So who's this new guy deceiving you? Look, I think it's rather too early for me to say anything about him. Mm -hmm. You know what? At this point, I think I have to take my leave now. If you like, you can see me out. If you do not like, you just sit down. Bye. Ugh, okay, let me see. Oh, girl. Okay. Hey, everyone. It's your girl again, Tessie. The Tata Fu of Lele. Okay guys, so today I have one delicious cheese for you guys. But before I would drop this cheese, you know, guys to bribe me first. Like, you know, that's what they do for a year now. You have to share this video, make sure you like and comment. Okay? <laughs> so guys, today um, there's this girl who her boyfriend took her out on a fancy date in a nice restaurant. And guys, guess what this girl did? This girl was just busy cutting her eyes to another guy. Yes, it shocked, it shocked you, it shocked me past. <laughs> Oma, it didn't just even end there. She stood up. She got her courage, stood up to meet this guy, to request for this guy's phone number. Now see, this guy doesn't happen. This guy just there, they are falling for you know, people just talk her. Huh? Oma, I see how I witnessed her with my two eyes live. Hey, I see Oma, this one shocked me, but like a film. This guy get courage, oh. This is happening in Lagos. But guys, guess what? Now I say, I see they happen for Lagos. I'm gonna bring the I'm gonna come. They can't download Kivuna. 
I said it hot. <laughs> ah, make sure you like oh, comment on it. See all my strength when I say come back. That lot we can give like this shit. If you don't share this video, we will fight. I will not drop. See, I have another sweet one for next week. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't share this video, I will not drop the next one. Yes, let me to come. I'm not gonna drop her. Tessie, you need to delete that video right now. What video are you talking about? The video you posted last night. I have warned you to never use me for those stupid videos of yours. You need to delete it now. Uh -huh. But I never mentioned your name in the video. What I shared could be anyone's experience. Tessie, please. Stop using me for your cheap gossips, please. I am not a gossip, my darling. You know I'm a content creator. Content creator on my foot. You are a gossip and you know it's a very big one at that. Look, I will never tell you anything about me ever again, Tessie. What's all this? Now you need to delete that video. My friend, if I know this. Ah, uh, you don't reach like that. You don't reach. Okay, I'm so sorry, okay? I promise you I would never use your matter again to create content. I am serious. No, seriously, you need to take it down. You need to take it down, seriously. My friend, you know the wish. No, Anna, you are not loving wish. You know, you're not going to use your own to spoil my own. And I'm not going to use my own to spoil your own. You know how they do now. If you don't want to reach one million views. Uh, Anna, I've been over I said I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. All these people are now insulting me online. All of them. How can I? I cannot try that. Eh? My girl, my baby. Huh? Sweet, I know this. I'm a boy. I'll change your name. I'll oh, shut up. I'll give you a free meal. You know, pedicure, manicure, whatever you want to tell me. I'm not joking with you. Hello. Hey. Um. Am I speaking to Kizito? Yeah, this is Kizito. Um. So hey, Kizzy baby, what are you doing? What's up? How are you? I'm okay. Who am I speaking with? Um. It's Hannah. We met a few days ago. Oh. How are you doing? Now, how may I help you? I'm very well, thank you. You just called me a new name, Kizzy Baby. <laughs> you like the name? It's okay. Well, perhaps when I call you Kizzy Baby, you can call me Honey Baby. Okay. Hannah is asleep. I have a message for her. Who was that? Oh, it's a guy. A guy? Yeah. Hmm. Did he drop his name? I didn't ask him. Um, Can you describe him? Describe? 
No. Let's go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. What did I even go there to do in the first place? Alison. Alison, you can do it, Elvis girl. Just let this girl be. It's obvious she's not yours. It's obvious she's not meant for you. See, babes. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm seriously thinking of Jaguar. Jaguar? Mm hmm. So, which country? Uh, well, maybe the UK or Canada. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, what's funny? No, sorry, okay. Um, <laughs> oh, great. Can you fund it? Oh, how do you intend to go about it? I'm thinking about applying for a scholarship. Scholarship? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> we don't need to. Sorry. <laughs> Do you know one thing I love about you? What? It's a father you love to day drink. Oh, yeah, because... Hello, baby. Hey. Hey, good. Hi, boo. Uh, How are okay. you? Okay. I'm fine. Yo. Oh? Mm hmm Hi. Hi. Um, darling, the door is open, okay? Just go in. I'll be with you shortly. Okay. All right. <sighs> Hannah. Mm hmm Sure, boo. Yes. You can't be serious, right? Girl. Hannah, you cannot be serious. What, Tessie? Ah. Uh, I think I have to take my leave now. Yeah. Okay. All right, take care, okay? Do you know that my friend is actually super surprised that we're not together? I know. I saw it on her face. <laughs> yep, she couldn't hide it at all. You know what? Let me get you some water to wash your hands, okay? Yeah. Alright. Ah, oh, hello babes. What's up? I'm fine. Good morning. Good morning. I want to inquire something really very important with you. Okay. What is it? That guy that came to my store the other day, that actually eats you. Are you guys still dating? No way. God forbid. I broke up with him that day. I cannot condo a guy hitting me. The moment it happens, I'm out of the relationship. I don't give second chance. Okay. Okay, fine. Why did you ask me about him? Is there a problem? Oh. No, of course not. There's no problem at all. I just saw him somewhere on my side, so I said to myself, let me just call to, you know, to inquire about your boyfriend, you know. It's all good. There's no problem. Okay. I ended the relationship that very day. He hits me. Oh. It's okay. Uh -huh. So, when are you coming to my store? Of course, I'll come soon. Soon. I'll be expecting you. <laughs> okay, bye. Take care. Oh. And some more. Thank you very much. Reminds me. Okay. I don't know what you do for a living. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't get the kind of job I wanted actually, so I decided to be a personal driver to one of these lucky big boys. The guy is so good to me, <laughs> but his wife is a Jezebel, so I decided to resign. Just this month. Okay, which means you're saying that you are currently jobless. Yeah. 
Wow. Well, you see, we can't have two jobless people in a relationship, so we have to get that sorted out. I'm working on it. Okay. So, hmm, let's see. Can you drive? Very well. I'm a champion in that. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to reach out to a friend of mine. Okay. To see if he can fix you up with something. Okay? Wow. That will be good. It's fine. Now, let me know how it tastes. Let me know if it's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me start from this. Okay. Yes, hello? What's this, please? Wow, Alison, so you don't have my number anymore. Hannah, is that you? Yes, it's Hannah. So you've yanked my number off your phone, Abby. What's up? What can I do for you? I want to ask you for a favor. I know that I really wasn't good to you and I truly apologize for everything. Okay, what can I do for you? Well, a friend of mine needs a job, ASAP. What kind of job is that? Okay. In that case, tell him to bring uh, his CV to my office. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's up? You shop here too? Hey. Um, yeah, I shop here. Wow. It's a nice place to shop, right? Yeah. Look at you. You look good. Thank you. You know what's going to happen, yeah? Everything you want to buy, just put the bill on me. I'll pay for it. Add it to my own. Okay. And then, um, I'll drop you off to wherever you're going. <laughs> but you aren't going my way. Come on. You didn't need to worry about that, alright? Come on. You can shop more if you want to. <laughs> okay. I think I'm done. You're done? Are you sure you're done? Yeah. Thank you. I need to call you. Yes, so, um, we also hired data analysts. Oh, yes, yes, we can work remotely depending. 5K. Dollars, of course. All right, let me know. Yeah. <clears throat> you are the one from Hannah, huh? Yep. Yep. Good. So, who is Hannah to you? My lovely girlfriend. Aww. So heartwarming, isn't it? Thank you. What does she even take me for? A fool? She literally dumped me for him. And now she has sent him for me to get a job for him. This girl is clinically sick in the head. Clinically sick in the head. Anyway, um, she said you wanted to see me and I should call her my CV. But because of the rush, I just have to come like that. But if you send me your email right away, I'll send you my CV. Mm -hmm. Because of the rush, you have to come like that. That's, that's fantastic. Uh, I should send you my email. Yeah, and I'll forward the email to, to my, I'll forward my CV to you right away. Oh, okay, so you need an email. Yeah. And you need a job as well. Definitely. Well, let me get it. You need a job, then you need an email. 
like job email, right? No, I need your email to forward my CV mm -hmm. so I can get the job. So that's like job mail together. Don't worry, I understand you. Um, <clears throat> see what you're going to do now. Hmm? Uh, you go back to Hannah, all right? Go back to Hannah and ask her to give you her email. Let me tell you what you're going to type. Type these words. Hannah, Alison doesn't want to ever hear from you again. Capish? Do you understand? Yeah. Fine. If you don't understand, you can leave. When you go, by the time you walk a few steps, you'll get the inspiration and you understand better. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Enjoy your day. Yes, yes, what is it? Sit down. What's going on? What is what's the problem? Who was that guy you sent me to? You mean Alison? Yes. Who is he? Alison is my ex. Uh, my anything to do. And any man that is drunk beats his wife. A weak man don't love his wife. It was your ex boyfriend. What am I looking for in this office? Baby, look, I'm sorry. She said, the way you, the way you spoke to me, that's what got to me. Thanks. I'm sorry. Please. Okay. I, I will get you. Don't even touch me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Now you are here begging me. Just because you want intimacy, right? You're my wife. You can, I'm, I'm just, very... just let me be. Baby, I'm sorry. Let me be. Baby, come on now. Look, I'm sorry. Sincerely, I'm sorry. Yes, hello, Jesse. Jesse, can you imagine your beloved friend Hannah 
sent her new boyfriend to me so that I can give him a job. What exactly does she take me for? She, she thinks I'm a fool or a mogul. I don't get. Are you serious? Wait. Does it mean the guy has no job? Well, she mentioned earlier that the person that was coming worked as a driver before. So that means the guy has no job currently. <laughs> oh my God. There's something fundamentally wrong with my friend. I told you that this girl needs help. Her thought pattern is literally thwarted. It's troubling. Well, she's an adult, so just let her live with her choice. And what did you tell the guy? I asked him to leave. He don't want to be so harsh on that guy, but he acts like he doesn't have common sense. Um, Tessie, let me talk to you later, please. What the hell do you want? What are you doing here? I came to say I'm sorry. Get the hell out of my house right now! Get out! Ask you to be my girlfriend. Hmm? What did you say? <laughs> you can't say it in here what I just said. Um, uh, I don't think it's a crime if I wanted to confirm what you just said. All right, I nothing. I, I was just hailing you. I was just greeting you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was not what you said. No, you said you don't know what I said. <laughs> I don't think there's any point beating around the bush. I think I'm falling in love with you. Will you be my girlfriend? So the cost is 6,500 naira only. 6,500? Yes. Okay. Okay. Here's 7,000. Okay. Okay, keep the change, okay? Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Um, hold on. Why should she keep the change? What kind of nonsense is that, Kizito? No. Please. You know what? Give me the balance right now. Give me the balance. Stop this nonsense. What has come over you? Wait, are you seriously insulting me because of her? Or do you have the hearts for her or something? You shut up and stop being silly. What is wrong with you? I'm so sorry about that, okay? It's fine, it's fine, sir. Have a good day. Thank yeah, you. you too.
is this girl? Oh no, don't tell me this girl went home all by herself. What is wrong with this girl? You make a fool out of me. You are the one making a fool out of yourself. But that is nonsense. I've always told you not to tell me I'm talking nonsense. Well, you are talking nonsense. Do your worst. What do you mean I should do my worst? Yeah. Is something wrong with you? Yeah. No. Is something wrong with you? How is he? Is he okay? Doctor? We are trying to stabilize him for now. I cannot tell you anything. Doctor, come. Doctor. about ending my relationship with Alison. Why? The relationship is just dreadfully boring. I mean, there is no excitement, no nothing. Then talk to him about it. Just tell him to take you out sometimes. Maybe, you know, just to spice things up a little Look, bit. Look, Tessie, it's not about taking me out. My point exactly is that, I mean, he just behaves like a weak man. How do you mean by that? Do you know that Alison has never yelled at me when I do something wrong, let alone to even beat me up? Beat you? Beat you for what exactly? Is he not a man? I mean, I need him to like beat me up every once in a while, you know, just ruffle me up. Uh -uh. I mean, I need to feel like his strength and manliness. Everything is just so boring and, and, and dull and quiet. I mean, no, no quarreling, no fights, no makeup sex. You told me you were coming around today and I, I didn't come. I couldn't come again. Like, I found myself in an unpleasant situation and I had to deal with it. What situation? I mistakenly injured Kizito and it's very serious. But you did what? I just don't know. We, we had an argument and he started hitting me and I just grabbed whatever I could to defend myself. Oh, Hannah, oh my god, Anna, what are, what are you talking about? I was so scared. I thought that he was going to die, but thank God he didn't die. Okay, where are you? Are, are you still at the hospital? No, I'm not. I just got home right now and I, I, and I decided to call you. You know what? Just hold on, okay? Once I get home, I'll call you so you can give me the full gist. This is very serious.
Hello? Hallison, there's a big problem. There's a very, very big problem. What is it? Anna has been arrested by the police. Anna? What did she do? She stabbed someone. Oh my God. What did you see? Anna stabbed a new boyfriend. And now the guy's at the hospital. Wait, when did this happen? I just received the message now and now... Oh my God, Anna, Anna needs your help, please. We, we, ha we have to do something about this. <sighs> this is the bad news. Yes, it is. Um, Alison, can you please assist me with your cousin's number, who is a lawyer? So maybe you can just help us go bail her, please. Okay. I'll, I'll send it to you now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much, Barrister, for coming to our hearing. Thank you yes. so grateful. Please stay away from abusive relationship and be careful. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So that guy is your ex? Yeah. Two months into the relationship, he started physically abusing me. Wow. Really? Yeah. It happened in Tess's shop. Hannah was there. She saw it. He hit me once and immediately I caught the relationship quit. He begged and begged and begged. He saw that I was not going to budge. Then he left me alone. Wow. Can I shock you? Hannah left me because I wouldn't hit her. What? That's not true. Well, take it or leave it, but it's what it is. She left me because I wouldn't physically abuse her. Is she crazy? I think she is. Because that only explains why someone wants to be with someone who will physically abuse her. Ah, oh, babe, please. I have to go. I have to go. I've had enough for the day, please. Take care of yourself for me, baby. Okay? Thank you. Love you. Love you too. My name is Kizito, not Babe. Okay. Um, I just came by to say that I am very sorry for what happened. Please, just find a place in your heart to forgive me. You have been forgiven. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't know if you can come over to my place. I want to make something really special for you. And trust me, you're going to enjoy it, please. Hannah, right? I'm really sorry. Hannah. Please, I, I would like you to wake up to reality. There is no relationship anymore. Babe, come on, we can't just throw away our relationship like that. I can't just what? Is it because I didn't sue you? Sincerely, I don't want you to rot in jail. Ordinarily, I would have done that. Look, 
after you almost killed me. You're talking about relationship. I said I am sorry. It wasn't intentional. Please. And I also said you have been forgiven. Please. There's no relationship again, okay? I have nothing to do with you anymore. Please. Can I go inside? Can I? Okay, have a nice day. You know you can always talk to you, right? What is the problem? Kizito has ended our relationship. So? No, wait. Were you actually enjoying this relationship? Like you wanted to continue this toxic relationship? Of course I wanted our relationship to continue. I still like him. No, you can't. I think you're joking, right? Oh my goodness. So, at this point, I think you need to visit a psychotherapist. That is the only solution to your problem. Because this matter now, it has passed my mind. Excuse me, why? Ah, calm down. Not be me break up with you. I'll be let me break up with you. And I see, baby, I have been meaning to tell you this for a very long time. So, I just thank God for today. Babe, you have to see a counselor. In fact, Hey, God, I beg for what, Tessie? Because you don't behave normal. Because no normal girl in this world will want to be in an abusive relationship in this life. And the fact that you even enjoy it alone baffles my life, oh. Huh? Ah, babe, no, I beg for. <laughs> you have to see a counselor. Just in case you don't want to go, I can follow you. I can escort you. Tessie, mm. I'm fine, okay? Don't worry about me, I'm fine. <laughs> Anna, you know you're not fine. Between you and I, you know you're not fine. Only a counselor can make you fine this life. And I'm ready to follow you just in case you need me. Mm. Tina! Tina! Why did you use my money without telling me? What did you use my money for? Uh, I used it to pay for the cooking gas. You used my money for cooking gas without telling me? Is it your money? I forgot. Why are you so stupid? You see that you don't have sense? You used my money and you forgot to tell me. Is it your money? Huh? What nonsense is that? No, no, you... no, 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 stop it. Stop insulting me. Did I use this money for myself? I use it to pay for the house. What is it? What? You, you, you're challenging me now? You, you're yeah. challenging me? Stop. You, 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 you stop it. I Hannah! Is everybody sleeping already? Honey! Baby! something for you. 
I wish I was going out. I don't understand. Uh -uh. This is crazy. What is wrong with her? Look, you dare not, you dare not take my daughter away. What nonsense! Just, just don't try it. Ah, ah! See this woman? <laughs> she is joking. I want my daughter back to this house. Anna, she must return to this house. Can you imagine? I will beat you to death, I swear. <laughs> you will, I will finish you. You move where? Move where? <laughs> uh, move where? soul hunted by the acres of a violent home growing up with scars that no one else could see a damaged character trying to break free the memories of this night etched into my mind a constant battle leaving my heart confined the darkness won't define my fate. I pray to rise above, no longer drown in their hate. A damaged soul from a broken home, carrying the weight all on my own. A bruise is fate, but the memories linger. I'm just a lost child, a woman. Can I survive it? I hope that I can survive it. In the silence of my room, I'm still haunted by the past. Who? Yeah. Every scream, every tear still lingers, lingers and lasts. But I won't let these memories control my destiny. Mama, I'm tired. Let's rest. I'm hungry now. Ah. Oh, my daughter. I am very, very sorry for bringing you here. Okay, don't worry. 
Let's go home. I'll find you something to eat. Then I'll come back in the evening. I am said, Mom, I'll see Hawking in the evening again. Okay, don't worry. I'll come back alone. Eh? Don't worry, you won't come with me. You are you going home now? No, I have to sell my market and start going home. Ayana, let's go home. I'm going. Mama, let's go home. Let's go. My own wife selling oranges by the roadside. Leave those things and let's go back home. Kuti, what is it? Babe, Please. Babe, look. This is not the kind of life I want for you and our daughter. Please, I beg you. Um, by the way, where is my daughter? Where is Anna? Sina. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> How are you? But you're not fine, no. I know, I know. Don't worry. Okay, I have come to take you and mommy back home. 
right? I'm not going anywhere. And she is not going anywhere with you too. Oh, baby, please. I am Let's begging. Go now. <laughs> Listen to your daughter. I'm begging you. Look, you can leave all those things. I'll pay for it. Whatever amount it is, I will pay for it. I beg you. Okay, please. Baby, please. I am begging you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Sorry. Let's go home. Just, just leave those things, please. Just leave them. Let's go home. Please. I'm sorry. Okay. Please, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do that to your son to go to the house to get a discount. Let me hear my wife. Go. You don't have to stress me. Please don't sit, sit. I don't want you stressing yourself to my hands in here. Just sit down. Baby, you just go to the room. You need the best. Don't worry. Don't stress yourself, please. <laughs> ah, this is good. Yes, 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 yes. This is most baby. Just relax, okay? Don't stress yourself. <laughs> ah, Tika. Tika. My love. It's good to have my family back. <laughs> I need you to understand that everything will be fine now. Okay? Look, no stress, no quarrel, no fighting. Is this you? This is me. I'm a changed person. Come. Just don't, don't stress yourself. Just go. Let me take you to the room. You're always taking me to the room. No, no, no. Look, this one is a different case. You just don't have to stress yourself. Just come and rest. You've tried, huh? <laughs> Why? Wow. Um, my back. Don't stress yourself. Don't lift a muscle or anything. Just go. <laughs> I will bring you. Tell me everything. So after we returned home, Mom and I, for about two months, my father never laid hands on my mother. And because of that, she started calling him a weakling. And on one day, she just started screaming and saying that he wasn't the man she fell in love with. She even went ahead to make him beat her up so badly that day. And then later on, he begged her and they made up again. So where are they now? My parents are not together. My father lives in Ibadan and my mother is in Port Harcourt. Okay. So that was the kind of home I grew up in. Thank God you are making headway. Hannah, the chaotic environment you grew up with really influenced the woman you've grown up to be. I've handled cases of this nature so many times. That is why we advise parents to be mindful of what they do or think in the presence of their children. The parents that fight in the presence of their kids are destroying the lives of those children. Children are very impressionable and easily influenced by the actions of their parents. Yours, it's very complex, but it can't be faced. I will help you to unlearn those things that are inimical to society and norms. Your father needs help. I really need his address. All right. Thank you. You'll be fine after this section.
In the shadows of the night I'm a broken soul Haunted by the acres of a violent home Growing up with scars that no one else could see A dumbass character trying to break free Babe, we took plenty pictures at the registry already there. I couldn't really settle down to snap. Alright, baby. I'm all yours. Snap as you want. Huh? And I'm so happy to be married to you. Come here, baby. Oh. So happy to be married to you. Too. Yeah, baby. of my room I'm still haunted by the past Ooh, yeah every scream every tear still lingers fingers at last Ooh, but I won't let these memories control my destiny I will find the strength to break free the pain they linger but I won't be a victim anymore I'll rise above the ashes that's for sure a damaged soul 